Hi everyone, this is Jet again. So welcome back to my channel. Just decided to take another video shoot on this beautiful sunny day. And so in this video, I just want to show everyone how I uh, created this uh, notepad. I will call this a few notes notepad from my unused pages of my traveler's uh, notebook inserts. Okay, so what you can see that this uh, notepad thing, right? I attach it to the front, uh, front flap of my traveler's notebook, my old traveler's notebook with this binder clip. And the advantage of this notepad is that sometimes you have things like groceries, uh, to do this, you can just you know just kind of like lay it down here, and when you are shopping, you can just open up, and you have your instant access to the information that you need rather than you know just go hunting the information in your notebooks and so it's very convenient and once you finish off the page you can just simply either you can tear it off or what you can do you can, you can just do a flip over right can, what you can do is actually just kind of like flip over like this and then you know just continue to write and this is a, just a wonderful a uh, little thing that I think is very um, very convenient so you can see that the pages these loose pages from different uh, travelers notebook inserts unused ones okay I actually collated and I just use PVA glue to glue them at the edge this way so it's a it's a very simple uh, hack yeah and so I'm just going to show you how I actually did this All right okay so let's put this aside first and you all know, okay, just for a quick note, okay, as you go through your inserts, let's say this is my notebook insert, uh, sometimes you have unused pages at the end, maybe the last, you know, last 10 pages is not used. So you want to save up this paper, what you can do is very simple. For example, this is a junk journal, I have a few more pages to go, and I want to save them up. What I did is very simple, remove the staplers, Remove the plus, right? Remove this whole portion, right? Keep this part and very simply just trim off, just use a pen knife and just cut off the excess here so you can keep this part for your few notes, notepad. Okay, right? So, right, just in case you're not too sure what I'm talking about, right? Like for example, the page here, this part has been used. I want to keep this part. I just take a pen knife and a ruler. And I just cut off. I retain this part. Okay. And the trick here is uh, you don't want to you don't want too thick of a notepad because if it's too thick, your traveler's notebook will get too bulky. Uh, but once again, I think it's up to your preference. For me, I like it thinner, so I don't want this. I don't want this notepad to be too thick. So this is about 15 pages, but I find that 15 pages is a little bit too thick for me still. Um, so let's reduce this down to. Hmm, 12 pages, right? So I have 12 pages here. Okay, so you can see this is the collection here that I have. And you can see that this part is the place where I did that rough trimming part. So this edge, this edge here, and this edge here are the original edge, the clean cut edge from the manufacturer. So what we want is we need to tidy up this part. So what you can do is you lay it down on the surface. Okay, my rubber mat is not really flat. So I need to use my table, right? So what you can do is, you can make sure that this part portion is flush and I'll do my trimming on this part, this part that is, uh, this edge that is frayed. So what I can do is, okay, once again, I try to do it properly here. Okay, I flip this around, in case you don't know, I flip this around. Okay, so this part is the part I want to trim off. I want to tidy up this edge to make it cleaner and straighter. Okay, and what I can do is, just by estimation, right, just by estimation, I can just put it like so. Okay, I will use these lines as a guide. I'll trim off just a bit of the edge here. Right, don't have to be perfect because this is just a, a what you call a scrap a notepad that you'll be uh, discarding for recycling after using it. So, okay. So just like my previous video, 
in trimming off an A5 size to a standard personal size Travers notebook. The concept is the same. All right, you just want to lay it down, make sure that your metal ruler, the steel ruler is firm and tight and stable. And then using a sharp pen knife, make sure your pen knife is sharp. All right, just go through a few times and trim off the edges. Okay, you can see this last part, I didn't do it that well, it's okay. All right, don't have to be perfect because this is just a scrap notepad that you're making. So, like this, we have it. So now the edges is much more cleaner and sharper like this All right okay so we want it we want to have a backing for this as well because you know that the one that I did here you notice that is a cardboard backing so this cardboard backing actually came from the cover of this traveler's notebook so it's usually of thicker material okay so I'll gather them here again so you can see that I have one here that I can use all right so what I can do is once again I can place all these together don't need once again don't need to be perfect all right you don't need to be perfect okay I try to do it as fast as I can it's a bit difficult but right you want to make sure that the edge here is aligned and what you can do is okay just measure up again like so of course you can do the cutting um, simultaneously just now together with the paper but I'm just telling just showing you guys the more inefficient way so okay once again line up everything do a cut okay this is the part that you want to discard okay let's put this off screen and there you go All right once again don't have to be perfect and you have it okay but let's find it okay now once you have it okay it's not perfect you can see that the, the edge is not exactly lined up together but it's okay no worries so now once you have this you will decide you know which edge you want to glue it so for example for me I want to glue it on this edge right this top part here so what you can do you just take any normal PVA glue Actually, I'm using this glue. I got this from Daiso. This is about two dollars, and uh, it's a very good, um, strong PVA white glue that is more uh, viscous. Is that the word you use? Viscous. It's more uh, not so liquidy, not so li li liquidy. Is that such a word? <laughs> yeah. Right. So what I can what so what I do is I'll use a double fan method. So what I mean by a double fan method? Once again, you make sure that your edge is aligned you can use some binder clips to help you out a little bit so I want to glue this part I will just make sure that my bottom part right my bottom part is flat okay gosh it's a bit difficult to do with the camera set up because I can't really see exactly what I'm doing from this angle so I will clip the bottom part this way so that this part is free right All right I anchor this side so this part is the part that I want to glue put the glue on so double fan method what I mean by that is right you want to glue it here so what you could do is you can push the paper this way so you can what you can see you, you form a little bit of a gradient here so the reasoning behind this is that when you apply the glue this way the glue will be able to go deeper into the edges of the paper so that the bond will be stronger so once you glue it this way right you do the fan the other way glue it this way and then finally put it straight and you make another layer here All right so with this glue okay uh, you can use a brush for myself I'm a bit lazy <laughs> for today I'll just use my hands yeah Right, just show you quickly how I do it. Okay, I hope the camera's in focus. I'm not too sure how focus is it. Can't really see from my side. Okay, so let's do a double fan method. You know, you to fan it too much, just a little bit will do. Something like that. And you see from here, I hope the camera's capturing it perfectly. You just dabble a few blobs of this white glue across light that okay all right 
it's a bit messy. Alright, so what you can do is, alright, from here, you just use your hand and just apply it. Okay. Just apply it this way, a rough one. So this double fan method actually allows the glue, the glue to actually go deeper into the edge of the paper so you can have a better bond. So once you're done, you flip it the other side. Right, apply another thin layer. Okay, and then using your brush, in this case I'm just using my hand, a bit more lazy, just go through it like that. Okay, and then the final one, make sure that everything is straight. And then just apply, or you can, in this case I have thing, I have enough glue, I can just go through with my hands again and just apply it like this okay and then what you want is you can take a few more binder clips or you can have the, some uh, hard board you can actually use them as well what you can do is try to clip close to the edge so that this part is is flush and tight you can see that the cutting is not perfect but I think that's fine okay and then from here I'll take the last clip from below Right, just make sure that you don't touch the edge per se. Okay, I try to look it. That looks it looks good. So from here, just make sure that the edge is more or less tight, so that so that this part, right, the bonding will be, uh, what you call that? No, the pages are being pressed in tight together, right, as close as you can. So this will be the final part. You can see that the edges here. Right, the pressure is being put on the edge here, as close to the edge of that uh, glue blind that you have. Okay, so just le leave it to dry. It should be it should be good to go after that. So once again, just to let y'all see the, the final product. Right, so this is what we get when the glue dries. It'll be transparent. Okay, the PV glue, white glue will be transparent like this, and then you can have your uh, few notes notepad. And for some people, they like to attach this to the behind of your traveler's notebook, like this. But for me, uh, I think the front part is perfect. So what I did is, I just used uh, some scraps of that thicker cardboard material from the, from the cover, the notebook cover just now. Right, I just placed it here because these spinal clips can form uh, can cause can cause an indentation on your leather and I don't want that to happen so I'll just put this as a form of uh, protection for the leather right my hands are just still with some glue here and there and then then just simply so that I got, okay you just need to clip this on like so right so you can see that this this cardboard material is actually protecting the leather from being indented by the binder clip. Yeah, okay, and there you go. Right, you can see that it's perfect. It's not too thick, it's not too bulky, but once again, it's up to you. For some people, they love it bulky, they can have a thicker, uh, what you call thicker notepad, but for thicker paper, no, sorry, for thicker notepad, if let's say you put like 20 pages or even 30 pages, your binding of this part, you have to do it more carefully and more perfect. Yeah, okay. So just a little quick tip on how you make this uh, very quick uh, notepad. A uh, few notes that you can attach to the, you know, the front flap or the back flap of your traveler's notebook. So I hope you guys can gain something out of this. Thank you everyone for watching. God bless you and take care. All right. Okay. Bye. Ah, yes, I think I've forgotten one thing that I need to tell. Yeah, another tip is to make sure that the, the bond here is tight. What you can do is just use your hands and just press in and just slide across the edge and also pushing out the excess glue. I mean, your hand will get dirty, it's fine. You can wash it off later on. So to make sure that the bind here is tight and you know, to make sure that the excess glue is being pushed out, 
can actually just use your hands and just press in and then just go through the edge like that yeah and after that you just put on the binding clip again here right to clamp it tight and just let it dry okay right take care everyone